My name's Nick Sharp. I, I'm a trustee here at Stretter Mold Engine. So Stretter Mold Engine is now run as a, as a charity. And there's a group of about a dozen of us that help to keep the place open. So there's some volunteers that do what I do, which is organise visits and take people around. And then we've got some volunteers that actually look after the building, doing the painting and whatever work needs to be done. So this is the scoop well. So this is what lifts the water from down at the farm level into the rivers. So just as a little bit of background, for hundreds of years they've been trying to drain the fens and, and they started off by straightening the rivers so the water could get out to the sea more efficiently. Um, and that had effect of keeping the land dry, but as soon as you start um, draining the fens, it, it shrinks because it's, it's dry and also it's peat, so it's organic matter. So what they had is a position where the, the, the ground, the farm ground was at one level, was below the level of the rivers. So as soon as you get any rain, it would, it would just act like a sump, fill up with water, and then obviously no good for farming anymore. Um, so they, they realised the only way around this was to lift the water from down at the farm level into the rivers. And that's what this scoop wheel achieves. This would run at four revs a minute and, and lift about 30 tonnes per revolution, which gives you the, the 120 tonnes um, a, a minute of water. These are the boilers that would produce the steam for the, for the engine next door. So it would take about a day to get the boilers up to temperature. Once they were running, obviously it was a 24-7 in that week or however long they were running them for. What we're looking at now is the engine that drives the scoop wheel. So powered by the steam, the crankshaft of this drives the, the scoop wheel that you've seen. Um, this is called a, it's called a rotative beam engine. The beam is above our heads. It's rotative because you've got this rotating crankshaft. So the very early steam engines, they had no rotating parts. All they did is had rods that they would lift up and down. The problem we've got here is that the, the piston rod wants to go up and down in a, needs to go up and down in a straight line, yeah. but the, the, the beam is moving in, a, in an arc, and so you've got this linkage that kind of keeps the, the rod moving up and down in a straight line, but still enables the, the power to be transmitted into the, into the beam. Thank mm -hmm. you.